All right, guys, 2013 Ford Escape, 1.6 liter, 77,000 miles. Um, this is a gal that doesn't drive a lot, but she wants it winterized and initial inspection. This is a referral from a viewer and customer of that we already have. So we're going to do a little inspection on this thing and kind of show you guys what's going on. Um, turn on my flash here. So for starters, we got some seriously corroded wheels um there is a concern about tires going low once they start getting corroded on the outsides like this they're always corroded in the beads so we'll be breaking those down and sealing them up however the uh tires are you can start to see yeah I would be a little bit concerned here now if we look at the brakes just through the wheel you can see all our ridges and rust in there that's gonna be a concern as well there was a concern about brakes oh yeah not much left of the braking surface in there so you're gonna be looking at pads and rotors in the front the outside ones aren't too bad which is kind of typical you probably got a little bit of stuck hardware going on um shake down in the front i did that already but and you can see another corroded wheel we went side to side everything feels nice and tight there um and obviously we already looked at things under the hood the belt and stuff like that the belt's getting a little age to it just like the tires are um i get you a little better light we like to take a look at the uh springs in this thing i didn't hear any popping and banging when I was turning so we don't have any stuck spring mounts but the shocks in the back you can see how they're getting all swelled up then that is a good sign that they're leaking oil yeah it won't be long before those ones blow out rear brakes are much the same except far worse you can see in there um, if I get my light right there is little to no pad that's just a backing plate for the brake pad there's little to no lining, but brake lining there. And again, that wheel is corroded, but much, much worse. Um, around to the back, this side, same way. Pretty extensive rust on the brakes and the hardware. The insides are almost completely gone. There's zero braking surface there. They're, they're almost non-functioning. Good chance that this thing needs calipers in the back. Um, we will price them accordingly. There's a little bit of weep on that caliper boot or uh, CV boot. See how it's dark there? Not a, not a huge concern. It's not throwing oil in again. They don't put a lot of miles on it. So other things that I like to look for on these things. Uh, back of the muffler. See how the uh, winter is maybe it's better without my flashlight winter has gotten a hold of this and we also have that our shield is dangling down here so we could take care of i don't know what the muffler costs for this thing there's a rear muffler and that intermediate muffler that's going to break off and be a concern check your hangers on your drive shaft Make sure that rubber's not tore out in there. And then uh, check your flex pipe up here. Make sure this flex pipe's in good shape. We get up a little further here. Um, no major staining. It didn't sound loud. This, it's not a problem today. It'll probably be a problem tomorrow. So that's not one that we'll address because it's got plenty of other issues that are going to need attention and we don't need to... We don't need to make issues for ourselves, but uh, these tires have me a little bit concerned about their condition, reliability for a customer, um, especially when it's a customer that doesn't have the ability to change their own tire on the side of the road. Jeez, uh, good tread left on them, but... Mm. See if these ones are about the same. Now see, yeah, they are. 
you can see those deep cracks in there you're getting down to the you can see actually see the cords down in the cracks <sighs> yeah so my advice is four new tires doesn't look like it needs them but again that's better than being uh, stuck on the side of the road in the winter time and whoo yeah those are gonna start coming apart at some point so I uh, whoa hang on light I wanted to get to this inspection earlier today get some prices and call the customer and things transpired and she is not in that big of a hurry for it so it wasn't the end of the world but I wanted to get it in tonight get it inspected make a list and then I could put an estimate together and call them first thing in the morning order parts and whatever else this is going to need um so yeah well that's it 2013 Ford Escape 77,000 miles 1.6 liter winterized inspection and advise and that's what we'll do appreciate you like subscribe comment share it out if you know somebody that needs something or needs a little advice on how to do an inspection let me know appreciate you see you on the next one